G'day folks, in this video I'm making a brass fitting. It's drilled, turned, parted, bored and tapped. I have made a video of this part previously, but I'm hoping this one will be much more exciting. There we can see the it's not a chamfer, it's just to break the sharp edge. This makes me smile when I'm halfway through a run and I realise I haven't had to pick up a handy burring tool at all. Here I just wanted to show once again the swarf deflector I made. It was in a previous video. Here I'm removing uh, the bulk of the material just using a turning tool. Sometimes in a video I see things I can change. Like this first move of the parting tool. I thought I needed it but looking at the video I think perhaps I don't need it at all. This is a Sumitomo GF style chip breaker low cutting force insert. Not really made for cutting sideways, really meant for parting and grooving. But it's doing this quite well. Right, let's do it again without that first move. There we are, just the one grooving move there. And then the tool follows around and we go in there. It didn't even notice. It was fine. All those parts I made didn't need that first move. In this shot the upper profile is the profile of the actual part and the lower profile is the toolpath. I created the toolpath in CAD and then I imported it into this software to use it to create the program. I really don't think I need to say much here apart from if you watch the last pass where the parting tool follows the actual toolpath you'll see the render ends up the same shape as the top shape which is the part. When I created this bung to stop the stock from vibrating at 3000 rpm I didn't realize when I made it hexagon and I made it hexagon because I could with the 3D printer it's really great at allowing you to line up the hex with the three jaw chuck. Um, it's just great. Here's a quick look at the lighting I used to, to make these videos. You can see there's not much room around the lathe for an operator. Here an arbor is used up the Morse taper of the spindle to create a stop for the part. So that it goes into the same place every time. Boring a taper here with a Sumitomo FC insert so that we have a taper for the NPT tap. This is a G84 tapping code. After reversing to extract the tap, the spindle spins forward again, even if I have a stop spindle line directly after the G84. Is that normal? I would appreciate it if you let me know in the comments. Not much to say about what's going on here. It's just boring a taper using a stock removal cycle and then the tapping cycle. I don't normally add music to my videos, but I thought that might be appropriate. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. There's the turned part. There's the thread, and if you've made it this far, thank you for watching.